I'm going to show you 7 hacks to save you hundreds to thousands of dollars on your upcoming flight and we're starting right now. What's up travel heads, Brian here with Life of BD bringing you the best travel hacks and tips to prepare you for your upcoming travel so if you're new here consider subscribing. So traveling is an expensive hobby and you're wondering how people are able to afford those plane tickets out of country. I'm here to provide you a 7 hacks so you can afford those plane tickets out of country. Number 1 VPN If you ever feel like you're not getting a good deal on a flight that's because websites track your location and charge you based on the demand of your location. IP address, HTML5, Wi-Fi, mobile data all track your location. For example, if you live in California like me and you're planning to book from California to London, it may cost a few hundreds more than if you were to book from California to London while at Colorado. Try using VPN to set your IP address to a lower state or country and then compare prices. You may save hundreds of dollars using a VPN to set your IP address before booking a plane ticket. Number two, cookies. And no, we're not talking about the cookies we bake and eat as a snack. 99% of the time when you're planning your trip, you browse the internet to compare prices on flights, but you hold off on purchasing the ticket. And then what do you know? When you're almost done planning your trip, you decide to book the ticket to finalize the trip. And you go back and you check, but the price has risen like 5-10% to for that plane ticket the day after. And you're wondering how. What you may not know is cookies may be the reason why your price raised. Cookies are messages that your web server passed to the browser as you surf the internet. And that causes you to panic because now you're afraid is it going to raise another 5-10%? to 10 Is it going to jump more? And that pressures you to purchase that plane ticket. To avoid this, you have to delete your cookies every time after you're done surfing the internet. Number 3. Weekday The average people working Monday through Friday, their time off is really just Friday evening to Sunday evening. If you notice, booking a plane ticket or itinerary during the days that people have time off is like 2-3 to three times the price compared to if you were to book at a Monday to Thursday. And what's even cheaper is booking a plane ticket around Tuesday or Wednesday. I can't recall a time where I booked a plane ticket from a Friday to Sunday. That would cost me a few extra hundreds of dollars if I ever did that. Number 4. Holiday Personally, I don't travel during holiday season because I want to spend time with my family and also because price for everything is like 3 times the price or even more and most things are sold out if you book late. And the crowd factor is just so crowded, it's like times 3 the crowd and that is why I don't have much interest traveling during holiday season. Number 5. Flight Aggregator When booking a flight, I'm not loyal to one travel browser. They are not loyal to you and they'll spike up the price once they know your flight and itinerary if you don't book right away. Just like what I was talking about with cookies on number 2. I like to compare prices from different travel sites like Expedia, Skyscanner, Google Flights, and even the Chase portal, which I'll be talking about more on my next video next week. So subscribe now. You can easily save hundreds of dollars booking a plane ticket out of country by looking at a few different sites and comparing the prices. Number 6. Buy in advance. If you're purchasing a plane ticket 1-2 to two weeks before your travel date, you are asking for a more expensive plane ticket compared to if you are booking a plane ticket 6 weeks to a few months in advance. Booking a plane ticket 1-2 to two weeks before your travel date is like checking to see if there's a limited amount of seat left. Where where most of the seats will be booked so that's when they have to raise the price. If you were to book 6 weeks to a few months in advance, so that means there are so many available seats that they have to sell some so they can guarantee that they'll have almost a full flight when they're taking off. So that's why price will be cheaper than if you were to book 1-2 weeks before your travel date and the plane is almost full. You can save half the price on airfare if you book in advance. Number 7. Incognito Whenever I book anything related to travel, I use Incognito as my web browser. Incognito erases your history and your cookies. Every time you close your window, your cookies will reset. So whenever you open another window of Incognito, it's a new browser and airfare and itinerary won't change in pricing. Unless over time the price fluctuates due to the demand of the plane ride. Similar to cookies, price will gradually raise if you're not using Incognito. Over time using Incognito can save you 10 to 30% on your flight or itinerary. And that's how you can save hundreds of dollars by following all 7 hacks. Heck with it, you don't have to follow all 7 steps and you'll still save hundreds of dollars for your plane tickets or itinerary. Did I tell you, if you visit a country like Europe or United States and you follow all 7 hacks, you are going to save hundreds to thousands of dollars guaranteed. So what are you waiting for? Go delete those cookies now and start planning your trip. Have a travel date. Don't forget to book on a Monday to Thursday away from holidays. Use a VPN to set the IP address before using Incognito to search your travel site and booking that plane ticket. What are a few hacks you apply to save money on airfare? Let me know in the comment below. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell button. And I'll see you on next week's video. Until then. Are we still on? Oh yeah. 
And if you want to know what's in my solo travel backpack, I'll have a checklist. Go check it out now on the link below. Thank you. And this time, until then.